RC enthusiast. It's your host Tom Cogswell here for another Spectrum quick hit video. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to set up Safe Select on your bind and fly aircraft. So Safe Select is going to come on these different receivers here. We got from the AR636A up to the recently announced AR631. This one's going to be coming in a lot of bind and fly aircraft now, and this is one from older models, and we'll go through how to set up Safe Select with these older receivers, and also how to set up Safe Select using the forward programming menu on your compatible Spectrum transmitter. First up, let's go over the part where you have to flip the switch and hold the sticks to assign Safe Select on your AR636A, or if you're going to use that same procedure on one of the three newer receivers on your bind and fly aircraft. So first up, let's go over the settings that you'll want to put on your Spectrum radio. These same settings are going to be applicable for NX transmitters, DX transmitters, and IX transmitters. And if you're using a preset model, it should be pretty simple. But number one is you have to assign a switch to an open channel. To do that, you'll click on the scroll wheel or go to the system settings menu on your IX transmitter. And you're gonna to go to system setup and the menu we're looking for is channel assign. So channel assign is right here. We'll go there. And you're gonna look at these different switches that you have available. You'll, if you're using an NX6, you'll get the extra seventh channel, which is always a great option for this. If you're using a DX6, you'll be able to use gear or AUGS1. Let's say we're gonna use AUGS2, and we're gonna to wanna to set that to the switch that we desire. I like to use the B switch, which is the one on the top left corner. So you're gonna set that to B if it isn't already. All right. Now that you've got that, you're going to go back to the main screen. From here, you're going to go to Servo Setup. So we'll click, and we're going to go to Servo Setup. And the reason we're going here is just to confirm that everything is moving the correct full travel. So for this switch, your uh, B switch or whatever switch that you choose to work, you do need to make sure that the travel is set to 100% up and down. By default it should be, but that's one thing to check if it is not. So you go to the travel menu and make sure that that switch, be it the gear or AUG switch, um, if it's an NX6, that switch is just defaulted to up negative 100, positive 100, whatnot already for you. Another way to check that this is working properly is to go to the monitor screen. So you'll go to the main screen here and you'll flip the switch to see if that channel, which is AUGS2, is going from 100% to negative 100%. If you're using a three position switch, the middle position will be zero. Just know that it is activating safe in the up position at 100% and it's gonna be turning off safe at negative 100%. So in my case, my three position switch is really in reality a two position switch. The next part is to confirm that your sticks, when you push your sticks to the inside corners like this, and then flip the switch, that they're reaching 100% travel. Much like the switch, you do wanna make sure that your sticks are also reaching that 100%. So to do that, an easy way to check that is to go to the monitor screen, and I'm just gonna kinda of simulate what you don't wanna do, and then you're gonna to go to the bottom inside corners. But if you look, you'll see on my monitor that my aileron, elevator, and rudder, the three channels that we're essentially looking at here, are only going to the 70, negative 70 percentile. That's not good. That's because we're in lower rate, or low rate on our dual rates. So if I flip my dual rate switch up to the high rate switch, or position, that will be negative 100 and 100 on these three channels. So again, you wanna make sure that when you push your sticks down into the inside, that you're reaching those 100% tiles. If you are using a preset, you might need to change these three switches as well. So uh, the, you just wanna make sure that you'll have all three of your dual rate switches, if you're using three switches or whatnot, in the high rate position. And you can confirm that on the monitor screen. You can also check in the dual rate menu to make sure that the switch is assigned properly and you're reaching that 100% rate, like that. 
Once you have that confirmed and everything is working properly, we're holding the sticks and we're flipping the switch and we're reaching those 100%, now is to go to the airplane and to set up the bind process for safe select. So on the airplane, we're gonna go ahead and plug in a bind plug and You'll notice on most airplanes, there's gonna be this little extension from the receiver, and it's gonna have this little tag on it. And that's great to have because it tells you exactly what you need to do to put it into safe select mode or AS3X mode, whichever mode that you want to bind in. So with AS3X mode, you leave the plug in, and with safe select mode, you take the plug out. So put, take the plug out while it's blinking, and bind up your radio. So we'll hold the bind button and turn on the radio. All right, so we're gonna hold our bind button on the top, and we're gonna turn on our transmitter or go to the bind menu, whatever works for you. And when you're binding into the safe select mode, you'll also notice that the control surfaces will jump two times. In retrospect, if they are not binding in safe select mode or when you power on in AS3X mode, you'll notice that they only twitch or move up and down once. So. To reiterate, you're gonna see them go up and down twice if it's in safe mode, and up and down once if it's in AS3X mode. And then, once you have it all bound up, it's not set yet, to set the switch, we're going to hold the sticks down to the inside, and we're gonna flip the switch that we chose, and in my case it was the B switch, rapidly back and forth five or more times. So one thing that I like to say to people, instead of just trying to count the five times, just go a whole bunch until you see that the control services move. You'll see them kind of twitch as you do it. And then when you look at the plane, you'll see that you have two modes. So, so when I hold my ailerons to the, to the left here and I flip my switch, you'll see that the safe mode, which is the switch all the way to, away from here, all the way up, is safe mode and you'll have less travel on your ailerons when it's in safe mode. So that's a good way for you to confirm that safe is turned on. And then you're good to go. Now you have safe select on your B switch or the switch that you used to assign it. Let's move on to the new way to do it and that's using the forward programming on your Spectrum transmitter. Recently added to our forward programming capable receivers that are coming into our bind and fly aircraft is the option to set up safe select in the forward programming menu. This is applicable to the AR637TAs, the AR630s, and the AR631s that are coming in bind and fly aircraft. There's no special need to bind with the plug in, out, or anything like that. All you have to do while it's bound and connected to your transmitter is to click on the scroll wheel, or if it's an IX transmitter, you can go to the forward programming menu in the model setup list or function list as we see here. You'll go to forward programming. And with this AR631 that I have in my T Tony A Trojan, uh, and it's gonna be the same for any of them that have safe select, you'll go to gyro settings, go to safe select, and you'll see this screen here. Simply go to safe select on or select the channel first, it doesn't really matter. So we'll go to safe select on, go to the inhibit for safe select chan for the channel. And you'll set it to the channel of your choice or what I like to do is just simply flip the switch. So I'm gonna set it to AUX2, which is what I have on the B switch. And you're good to go. Now AUX2 is my safe select switch. If you're having trouble with that, one thing to just quickly check is to go to your channel assign menu. So we'll go to system setup go to channel assign, and look at the open channels that you have on your transmitter and make sure that you have a switch set up for the channel that you wanna use. All right, super simple way to set up safe select on your latest bind and fly aircraft. Again, this setup does not work with the AR636As, Bs uh, that come with older safe select equipped aircraft. One quick note that I wanna go over is with the DXEs and the DXS transmitters where you don't have a screen to check settings with. Simply make sure you're in high rate and you hold the switches and the sticks. Make sure your trims are centered 
and that you flip the switch that you want to assign. And it should work if you follow along with these same, same directions. All right, and that's how you set up Safe Select on these receivers using your Spectrum NX transmitter on a Bind and Fly Safe Select equipped aircraft. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Or if you have other quick hit tech tip videos that you'd like to see me cover, feel free again to leave those in the comments below. Thanks for watching and happy flying.